I want us to turn again and I will bring to the Ambazonian people the attention that the purpose for which I resigned after learning, say, the international momentum will be the build pressure on behalf of Ambazonia. It has been let down, not as a result, say, they don't believe our story or they don't know our story, but because of bad decision, we don't push our struggle back. That hope will be get them. It don't fade and it will fade completely. And when I will come to the conclusion that there is no hope in the expectation that I had, I will take full primary responsibility for our liberation struggle. As I told our people, there is a great danger that our people may suffer for the rest of their life because of our own stupidity, our own ego, and our own blindness to the reality of how the war works. I am bringing this thing up because the messages I am getting from people being threatening up, being threatened up and down, that just blow off my mind by people I less expected this type of nonsense should be coming from. And Ambazonian people deserve to know. Because when I come out, I put out warning. Sometimes they don't understand exactly what is going on. And you have to know. So I will get to, to tell you what I what, I, what the thinking of my mind. But first, I want to, to play this audio. And uh, this audio is coming from uh, the OGC and uh, Mama Wali, who is threatening one of our major, major person. I wouldn't call the role the person is playing. But this is a hero of Ambazonia who is in charge of helping me build an entire battalion for the ADF in Menchu. The only battalion in the ADF in Menchu. Boys who have sacrificed their life. And because of politics, you will be warning somebody like this. So anyway, Ambazonian, listen. Messages them yesterday, and I've seen that you've seen the messages, but you've not responded. Anyway, I was just reaching out to let you know that I am monitoring you on social media, and I'm keeping an eye on you. Any wrong move, you will be out. We don't have space to tolerate um, 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 internal traitors. Any wrong move, you'll be out of the organization. Thank you. So that's the threat given to a person who have helped me to build an entire brigade for the Ambazonian Governing Council in Menchum. The top general, General Tokandu, who died in the hospital, executed in Tarankun. I never go a single night without remembering the day when this young man was in the hospital being brought in by civilians who was on live call with all of us. I think most of the defense people in the Egg of Sea, after the Operation Hammer blow, explain, explaining what was going on with him. And uh, for you to, to, to warn somebody, not because you think that the person is supporting Capo Daniel because Capo Daniel is, is wrong, but simply because Capo Daniel have decided to, to resign from an organization. And you say that you kick somebody out of the organization. So the Egg of Sea, that we have believed was the solid and only organization was just a charade you people are just using capo daniel when you see that you are arriving at that power that you were expecting you start to eliminate those people who can reason and put in line people who are just there for loyalty not to perform any task this is mama wali the lady who is like a mother teresa of ambazonia there is no individual in Ambazonia who have invested, I mean, raw cash, emotion, and energy in this Ambazonian struggle than Mama Wali. If a woman like this can turn and be threatening people of this caliber, that they will, she will kick her, him out of the organization. So the organization is an organization where the actually leaders who are there were not the, the charter of the egg of sea, but were people's who were lawyer and a small clique of people that feed the ego of Dr. Chua Yaba. As a matter of fact, Mama Wali knew the problems I was having and even was sympathetic and understood the grievances I have laid forward. So is this what you were doing all your sacrifices, Mama Wali, to fight for? The Bible says, non, don't end something physically that you started spiritually. We were fighting and supporting the egg of sea 
for principle, not because of Dr. Chua Yaba, and I've told him many times, I don't support you because I like you, I support you because of the principles for which you stand, the values for which you uphold. Once you lose those values, once you do not represent the public interest any longer, but your own political career, once you undermine the people of Ambazonia and our liberation struggle, you lose that support, you lose that respect. Hey, Mama Wali. Now, so you want all the sacrifice you were doing for Ambazonia. What was it for? Was it for some principle? The egg of sea is not the liberation war. It's just an organization. It's supposed to serve as a vehicle. Ambazonian people should know because our people need emancipation education. If we are about to get into a journey, into a desert, and I realize that that vehicle have a problem, it's better we stop that vehicle and check that vehicle, make sure everything is right. We have enough task, uh, petrol in the, in the tank. We have enough spare parts for, for, for tires before you venture into the desert. Because in the desert, if a car breaks, everybody will die. I will not sit and allow Ambazonian to put their hope when I see that there is a default. And I call it out. Like the main person in that vehicle, the main person in that vehicle, calling people like boy boy for that vehicle. When I may be called people, I may enter this vehicle. When I joined the egg of sea, the Ambazonian people could not even know what was going on. It was being battered for wrong reason. Ayabacho was being victimized for wrong reason, and I know that he was a leader and was an honest man who have sacrificed all his life for our struggle. I know that. I knew he was the main person being wanted by La Republic. As a matter of fact, the last effort for La Republic to target Ambazonian leaders abroad have been reduced to fining for two people, Ayabacho and myself. So I had no doubt that this is somebody who was working for Ambazonia. I am not questioning that he's working for Ambazonia. But when you put your own personal ego in front, you have destroyed that which you stand for. And I will never be a part of something like that, especially with the amount of sacrifices our people have made. I will never sacrifice my life and my effort for an individual. The reason I'm in this struggle is for the collective. This struggle was supposed to end, as I tell our people, in 2020, when the, the United Nations concluded that the attack in Kumba, the attack in a school in Kumba that killed eight students, it was as a result of our struggle and the blame was on us, Ambazonia. The United Nations reports and all the NGOs did not target the Sako who had compromised our picking them where they used them. La Republic used them for carrying out those attacks for Kumba. They target Na Ayabacho. Then give it sanction. Mickey Nofi enter America. Visa sanction. Declared by uh, Anthony Blinken. What does that tell the people of Ambazonia? You are playing with fire. If Ayabacho was tacked and blamed for an attack, he has no idea. I mean, he had no idea about what was going on in Cuba. I was the one who actually was telling him what was going on. He had no idea. But if the international community put the blame on him, it's because he is primarily responsible for this struggle and he's the main leader that they have seen that is leading this struggle. And so he is responsible. That should be a warning to all Ambazonia that we can lose this war. If I did not stand my ground to fight with the international community, make report, do investigation, it wasn't done by Charles Taku, who is the head of prosecutor in the African court. It wasn't done by our PhD. It wasn't done by Honorable Weber. It wasn't done by any lawyer. How many people? They did not even know what was going on. The person who cared, who's half sleepless night, was me, Kapodanye. I saved Ambazonian liberation movement from being condemned. But Dr. Chu Ayaba was being scapegoated and condemned. This should tell Ambazonia that the war can destroy the struggle if they lose faith in us. The war can destroy the struggle. Do you know about the rebrification of the killing in Manu, where over 80 people were killed by our own people and made video about it? Killed in a, in a die, then go for cry die. Do you know what would have happened about the Kondo Titi when I came out and I cried to our people? Do you have any idea? You just sleep and you think that will arrive in Buya. If Dr. Cho Ayaba, who have been the main person responsible for our liberation struggle, 
have end up making decisions to put people who are there to secure loyalty for him to demonstrate that all along i can't even imagine what i'm seeing we have transformed all liberation struggle in amazon i mean all into political parties why our people are the ones suffering we risk we risk becoming like the Rohingya muslim the warning of honorable weber that we were treated as captive people might come to reality that we may lose this war and become captive people within the republic for the rest of our life i will not sit down and watch that happen if mama wali you have gone down to this stage to be warning people who have sacrificed their life and their freedom who are responsible for giving us brigade let every ambazonian governing council member ask yourself is this what you sign up for so you were there thinking that you are a mission head somewhere you are the one taking decisions for the organization when an individual tell you you can kick somebody out the question people's registration when they choose and when they don't choose to is this what can free ambazonia is this what can free ambazonia you are not capable of realizing your mistake imagine all the the soldiers who were waiting for for a peace for a ceasefire you let them down have you accounted to those soldiers? You have not even spoken to them. You have not even explained to them. All the prisoners who are expecting to be released, 1,000, you allow that opportunity to go. And the international community blames you. They blames you. A hope for Ambazonia. And some of you are even, some of you don't even want ceasefire. That means that you are truly the power among us who just want our people to be dying. You don't care. Do you really care about the people as you care about your political career you want just to come up on top we send people from to, to norway for a very crucial capacity building me who was the competent person who did our presentation you did not even have the courtesy to call me and say kapo daniel pass the mantle to somebody else because i want to send somebody else there you hide it and you did it behind your back sending people that you believe will just be there for loyalty and you go and mess up lose faith for the international community we had arranged with the ambas with the, with the international community the people who are supposed to represent us to represent la republic were supposed to be military people la republic sent political representative and you people sat down together with them discussing ceasefire capacity building do you even know the ramification of that that shows you that Paul Bia has cut off he doesn't even he's not even interested in what you're doing anymore and you don't even you're not even aware the people could not even protest do you even see the damage you have done to our people do you even see the damage these bad decisions have made and when I complain you people think that it is irritation you people think that it is I'm, it must be me Capo Daniel it must be me Capo Daniel I've told our people when I see a danger I point it I don't I'm not afraid I'm not worried about anything I'm as I'm worried about the future of our country I will give a comprehensive explanation a by a to what is going on so that you see the danger least our people are worried about us trying to rectify the mistakes and the patterns we have seen we must rectify it we must rectify it if the egg of sea cannot be rectified to have principles that recognizes reality and principles i capo daniel will take primary responsibility for this our struggle because i I'm the only one. Those who are worried that I keep on saying I, I am still saying it again. I, if it vex you, go hang. Because when I was doing the things that I was doing, you were not there. Nobody was there as a matter of fact. Nobody was there. When the United Nations was gathering evidence for war crime and blaming it on Amazonia in, Ma in Manu, how many people were there to defend it and define the thing for what it was? People being used for tribal, inter-tribal war and the international community being set up to put it on Ambazonia. How many of you were there? The so-called activists, how many of them? All of them run and carry their head in their head. Today, the egg of sea is demonstrating exactly what I've seen there all along. Everything, we're doing everything. So you are just waiting, Capo Daniel will reinstate the image of the egg of sea, bring in everybody to trust you. And at the end of the day, you are not focused to use those things 
for the Ambazonian people. You, you think now that you have become a pillar. No, you are a pillar because of the values you stand for. You are the pillars because of the principles you stand for. If you don't put the interest of the people, you are done. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you have done. You are done. Because any but I have told our people, darkness will never drive away light. Darkness, you must come with clean hand when it comes to the public interest. You must put aside everything when it comes to that critical decision making on how to decide for the future. It must be people's first, people's interest first. Every choice you make as a leader, you are responsible, not to yourself. You are answerable, not to yourself, but to the principle that guides public interest and national interest. There are people who do things for their own ego, their career, and we can benefit from it. But not at the, st at the stage of leadership when decisions, are, critical decisions are being taken. These are the inconvenient truth. We must look it at the face. We cannot hide our face under the sun and think that these things will go away or we are going to Boya. The right way we are going, the way we are going, let's just support and let's just cover our eye like nothing is happening. We miss opportunities. There is a danger. Let Ambazuna know that if Dr. Troy ever can be sanctioned by the united states of america that same sanction will fall on the entire struggle if we are not careful the sympathy we have lost by behaving to become the intransigent party to a negotiation in the eyes of the international community i cannot begin to to waste my time to explain to you but go and ask the people who are claiming to have big book what are they even are even aware about what is even happening our leaders one of the primary leaders who did not have a delegate but was responsible as a, as a principal of Ambazonia. I don't even know the people of La Republic were there. They're not even brief. La Republic will finish, their delegates will go and meet their principal. Ambazonian delegates could not even sit together in one place, one space, with all their principal to give report after things have done. We only meet argument. When is argument? Argument. Useless argument. People not focusing on the job. I mean, putting professionalism the sacrifices of our people in the forefront. People are focused about posturing, putting things, nonsense, useless things, why our people are dying. If you think that all the sacrifices we have made is for you to come and show your power, your small power for standing like your chest like King Kong, it no will ever happen. No man no be King Kong now. The people be in King Kong. If you want to be the people's man, if you want to be a, a King Kong in Amazonia, beat the drum for the public interest, not your own self. Whatever you are, if it is not for the public interest, it is for your own self, it is rubbish. When Seseko left you, blackmailed you, and drove you away out and called you somebody who cannot even sit to talk together with you, you succeeded, not because you were special, but because you stood on principle. You stand for the public interest. You look for practical things. You do not look for illusion. You didn't just go and pretend and tell people we are going to have freedom in one day. That is what makes you who you are, Dr. Choyaba. And the day you start thinking that you have arrived and instead of putting the public interest first you start looking for your who will protect you like you are in a political party in the middle of a liberation movement you have lost your mind you have lost your mind and you have lost your way and if you are unredeemable if you cannot retrospect within your organization which is what i expected that you will sit down the country people the country head will sit down and talk to you why did Kapoor daniel resign and you tell them honestly he resigned because he disagreed that we did not achieve what we could achieve. He disagreed that I have taken decisions that have made us to lose international treaty. Did you even tell them the result of Cameroon, the message probably passed to the, to the Canadians? Did you even tell them? Look at the pre-talk, the pre-tour going across. The whole world, I mean the whole world was watching this pre-tour. The pre-tour where the, the, the various leaders supposed to go around the world, meet Ambazonians so that the world will actually know that these are people who are representing Ambazonia. It becomes something with, uh, with uh, Dr. Nhi, carrying his uh, monkey coat, going around, taking a few pictures in Canada. You come to America, it was a virtual, virtual meeting. Because of the criticism I put, Yerima came and sat down. John Bakoro also was there. So you people could not even meet. What is the ramification of the failure of this pre-tour? Pre do you even know? Have you even sit down and imagine what is going on? You want our people to open their eye one day. The whole world have aligned themselves behind Paul Bia. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with all the people that have died under your hand, under your care? 
But remember one thing, when General Ivo make a prediction that the ADF will lead Ambazonia into Boya, he did not say the egg of sea. Remember that within the last weeks of the death of General Amba Ivo, he was not talking to majority of you people. He was not even picking your call. He wasn't before the enemy snatched him from our hands. He has done his job. He has laid a foundation of principle. General Efang is on the ground doing the same. Listen to Tanka. Listen to the wisdom of our soldiers. Listen to all to we. I mean, all our forces, their wisdom, what they are telling you. Listen to them. You can go and threaten people in the organization to let them toe the line. Threaten people that you are going to kick them out and just expose what the organization was actually for you all along. Woo, Ambazonia. It shall be well. As I've told our people, I have given a timeline. These are not things I'm asking the opinion of anybody. I'll take full responsibility if things do not change for this, our liberation struggle going forward. I didn't stand and take my life and put my life on the line for our people to see it to go in the drain. It will never happen. I will not allow this to happen to our people. Let our people know that there is a possibility that if we lose this war, we'll become a captive people. There are people who are playing games with our war. They don't, they don't even care. They just want to set delusion, sustaining image, holding. What is the use of having organizations that our people think will give us freedom if it does not deliver or it cannot deliver? And it's there just to gather people. Let's, let's just be going. Let's just be going. Irrespective of whether the Republic will be winning or not. Leadership that is incapable of negotiating. You cannot negotiate. Negotiate is give and take. Once you really have had your own what you are looking for in your pocket, you demonstrate in the world that you cannot even do give and take. That you are actually a power monger, a war monger, if I may say it. When you have independence in your hand, what, what do you else do you want for? What, do, what else do you want? You are not worried about the humanitarian situation back home. You are not even worried about that. <laughs> Our soldiers are running like temple run. We are struggling to manage things here, manage things there. We don't even have a state power that supports us. With the little that we have, we must maximize efficiency. There is, we don't have the luxury of any mistake. We don't. Our people should know that right now we don't have leadership that is capable of negotiating, we don't have leadership that is capable of even making an assessment whether we can win this war or not. Believe me or not, it is important that we are capable of sitting down and say, can we win this war? Yes or not. If we can win, what do we need to do in order to win? Then let us do it. Can we do it? Then we do it to the best of our ability. What we cannot afford for and what I will never allow is for Ambazonia to become a captive people because that is exactly where we are heading for where they will wipe out our NS1 on the ground. They will wipe out our NS1 on our ground and turn our people like Francophones have become today. Frogs, a country that has the greatest fight, fighters for independence. Um, you bear the just one. These are the greatest African freedom fighters in the world. People who had vision. They were all killed. They were all killed and the struggle was finished. I will not sit down and allow that to be our fate. I will never allow that over my dead body. Over my dead body, I will not allow this struggle to, fo to fail for our public interest, not cater for. I will not. I have been responsible for keeping this struggle alive. I have been responsible for maintaining and giving hope to our people that there can be hope in leadership that can be reasonable, that can put their interest first. And I will take full responsibility as time goes on.